here and I am so excited to tell you guys all about my new water box. I have been waiting for this water box for quite a bit. I had to delay it a little bit due to getting super busy and dealing with some things, but it is here guys. Delivery was great. I got a call around like 15 minutes prior to the delivery to make sure we're ready to go. The delivery guy was amazing. As you can see, help us taking it out of the pellet. He even took the pellet. We live in a small town home, so we have to unwrap it and bring each box separately inside of the house. And I got a water box frag 55.2, which is 24 by 24 by 16 is the dimensions. And the display tank is 35 gallons, 35.5 gallons, and the sump is 22 gallons. So it's not a big tank, but it is perfect for what I want to do. And that is my new anemone tank and i am so excited that it's a cube i'm so excited that it is not a tall tank it's more of a shallow tank frag tank and also i love that now i have a sump because for my nano anemone tank i do not have a sump um for this one i do have a sump so we put it together it was three people it was me, my husband, and my youngest, my little dude, and he loves helping putting all of this together. And it took us maybe around an hour or so, but again, we were three of us putting this together, and this was like our second time around of putting a water box stand together. And I just love it. It was a really nice family time. After we put it together, I went and did the plumbing and got the lighting going and just love it. Really love how it looks. I love how easy it was to put it together. It was even faster now, especially because just, you know, a couple, well, a few months ago, I put my water box 100.3 gallons together so really excited really happy about this new tank and as you can see i have two tanks to each side of this tank so the left tank it will be it will not be there anymore this is a freshwater tank it will be going down the stairs to my kids room and it's going to be replaced by a pico tank and the right it will stay there but it will be turned into a sps tank and now, don't worry about my nano anemone tank. It will stay there. It will not go anywhere. I am going to, like, move it a little bit. It's not going to be in the exact place that it is right now. But it's, I'm just going to, like, move it a bit. I am really excited to show you guys what I do with all of that um, space. So... What I'm planning to do is for the nano anemone tank is leaving all of these smaller anemones in this nano anemone tank. And the bigger anemones that I have, especially my green anemones, I'm going to be moving them into this bigger anemone tank. And that's where I'm going to have all the bigger anemones. And I'm planning on having kind of the same of the nano anemone tank, but bigger and is going to be i'm thinking about anemone crabs maybe some sexy shrimp i'm thinking of maybe having a clown harem but i'm still deciding about if i'm gonna just have a pair of clowns or a clown harem something i haven't decided yet equipment wise i'm still deciding on everything that i'm going to be adding to this tank and do not worry i'm gonna go over it on future videos and also going over what type of anemones I'm going to add. I'm definitely going to be adding all bubble tips. They're just going to be different colors or variations. But I think I'm going to leave it for sure or just bubble tips. But I am really excited to show you guys this process. And I'm going to be going over everything where i'm getting the anemones how to acclimate them how to treat the anemones if they have like a bacterial infection and so much more so stay tuned and don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell button to get all the notifications and if you have any questions please do drop them down below in a comment and you guys take care and stay awesome